Hello, I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Well, La Nina is back. Well, that's what the Climate Prediction Center is saying, and it's all thanks to recent data in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. Usually what happens is that we measure those sea surface temperatures out in the ocean, and the sea surface temperatures in the oceans usually do a good job at controlling the atmosphere and global weather patterns. And so there's an area off in the Pacific Ocean. It's called the Nino 3.4 region. It's off the coast of South America, Central America, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's showing slightly cooler than normal temperatures. You're able to see that with those lighter colors in that region. So climatologists look at sea surface temperatures in that region. And they're able to tell whether or not we are in an El Nino phase or a La Nina phase. And recent data showing a weak La Nina with slightly cooler normal waters lasting at least through April. There's actually a 59% chance that we could still see La Nina pattern through much of this winter. So what does it mean for us here across Texas and Houston? We have to keep in mind that it's still a weak La Nina. So during a La Nina pattern for the winter, we usually get warmer and drier conditions across Texas. However, if you've probably been outside with the past few days, we've seen wet and cooler conditions. So during a weak La Nina phase, you could still get the opposite of what this shows here across uh, Texas and across the South Central US. So usually what happens during our winter, January, February is Houston's coldest months. What we usually see is highs ranging between 63 and 65 degrees. Lows 44 to 45 degrees in February is a little bit warmer, 65 to 71 degree for highs, lows at 45 to 51 degrees. And we've seen conditions quite come much cooler than this. So it could give us a hint on whether or not we're going to see this pattern last through the later winter season. So we could be looking at an early spring going into the next one or two months, but still too early to tell. However, weather models are indicating that we could get another significant cool down by next weekend from January 20th to 26th. So we could be looking at a surge of colder air moving right back down to Texas, bringing back those cooler temperatures. And we're expecting to remain a bit chilly at least through the next few days. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 40s and 30s. We're gonna warm up just slightly by the weekend. But weather models are hinting that we could see our next cool down by Sunday and Monday of next week. So that's kind of a reflection of a weak La Nina. Even though we're expecting to see warmer and drier conditions during a weak La Nina, it's still not uncommon for us to deal with those cooler temperatures in that precipitation like we've seen in the past few days. We had a really rainy, wet outlook these past few days, but and we are expecting mostly dry conditions for much of the week. Lows in the 40s and 30s and the 50s. But then next Friday and Saturdays, we're going to see that rain chance once again creep back into southeast Texas. But we could be looking at an early spring. Of course, we'll let you know when that happens. Of course, I'm meteorologist Christian Maris, and you can find the latest weather updates on KHU.com and on the KHU 11 app.